Uh, hey guys, it's everyone 41 welcome back to another herping video slash wildlife video. As you guys can see, I'm on my tripod, I have my car in the background. We are the only people at Paper Mill Falls today, folks. Look at this beautiful, look at this. My creek was so dried out that unfortunately I couldn't record there. I wanted my fiance to come here, but she won't, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave a life for wildlife, guys. Come on, leave a life for wildlife. We're gonna try and find some snakes. Uh, try and find something that's not gonna. Because last time I saw snakes here, they were fucking huge. But we're gonna also try to catch a crawfish today. I have seen some turtles in here. Okay, this pathway is very scary. So, oh god, please like the video. Subscribe for more action like this. Oh god, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, look at the dragonfly, guys. I don't know if he's hurt or not, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, right there. It's pretty cool looking. Oh, I bet his wings hurt. I hope not. He's a beautiful dragonfly. Hopefully we can find some turtles, because turtles always hide around here. Um, usually I don't record down here, because I never go down here the first time in 2017 by myself. So, I always have somebody down here, because it's... Oh, God. Spider web. Oh. Ugh. Spider rat, damn. I've never seen that before either. Big hole. We're definitely getting in this water today, folks. But, uh, yeah. So, again, smash the like button for more videos like this. And let's get to herping. Let's get to looking for some wild bad guys. Oh, my God. I love this place so much. Take a thumbnail. Damn. I just totally fucked that up. There we go. Why is that so loose? I don't know. We got some. This is where we caught a bunch of crawfish before. Now, there's going to be like part three, part two, and part one, or the opposite of that, because of a... Oh, my God. We already got a crawfish right here, folks. It's around three o'clock. You guys can see that or not. Three o'clock in the afternoon. And I was feeling a little adventurous, so I'm going to go out here. We're going to see how many of these beautiful minnows and fish we can catch. Um, hopefully it's a lot. I'm going to set you guys up somewhere. You guys on my tripod. I'm throwing my camera to overheat. That would absolutely suck. Whoa! Um, oh, that's a big-ass fish, man. There's a lot of fish in here. So, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get in and check this out. Um, Got to be very careful, though. Any rocks I flip up, anything I flip up, um, don't want to pull right back. But we're going to try and see how much wildlife I can catch. Look at all the little minnows. Look at them all. God, I love this fucking place so much. So you guys, we're up on this rock here. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'll give you guys some good shots in a minute. So, now what we're going to do is there's a lot of dead crawfish around. What we're going to do now is we're going to get in our little backpack here, which I actually have my phone and other stuff like that in, in, um, inside of here. I'm going to be very careful. got my rock star just in case. Got this bucket. I got this. This is actually an old metal trap, but I actually end up using it anyway for, like, minnows and stuff. This is for, whoa. This is for crawfish, and that's for minnows. And then just in case we have anything a baby size, we got a baby size net just in case we don't catch any bugs or anything like that. So, without further ado, let's hop in the water and let's get to catch some wildlife. Let's throw these up first off camera. This is non-stop action, guys. And unfortunately, due to YouTube, I can't combine these videos. This is going to be part one, part two, part three. Okay, this is how cold the water is. Oh my god, the water is so high. Just enough for them to be swimming around and stuff like that. We're gonna put them right next to the camera because obviously that's where I'm gonna be going the most. Putting this bag over here. Okay, now let's get in. Two big steps in here, guys. This is what the animal do, I see my gun. This is that, it's so effed up. Someone looks for the rock, though. Whoa! Oh, shit, get out of the shingle. Hold on a minute, guys. 
show you why it's right there. The reason why I said that's right there. Hold on a minute, I need to jump in there. I would have hopefully you guys can hear me. We're gonna catch him, only because of how big he is. Yeah! We have our first drop fish of the day. It's a pretty big one. Let me see if I can grab it without hurting him here. Ooh, I want to be so careful with him. Look at the size of him, guys. That's a pretty big crawfish, right? I gotta be very careful with him because his outer shell is shedded. So he's not fully armored there. So we're gonna put him right inside the bucket as number one crawfish for the day. We're already six minutes in, so Stay on camera too. We're gonna pick him right back up. I'll make sure I grab him right here. There's another one right there. I don't have a really good grip on him, so I'm not gonna show him that much, but there's two. the end of the video so whoa get in there buddy see you right there put him in there oh I see a big one down there folks whoa this one see they're all trying to get some dinner here I gotta be oh god I gotta be so fearful because he can pinch me that's a big one whoo in the net. You can see him right there. I'm going to plop him right in the bucket there. Don't want to make this video too long. Wait, I'll see that pop up. This is awesome, guys. Man, I like my... I'm enjoying this a lot. Step on is a spot where a crawfish could do. 
gotta be careful. Don't look over here. A lot of them like to hide in these dirty cages. There's gotta be some serious ones under here. I'm not about to look that up though. Only that I want to squish it. There is a It's got it almost guaranteed every time. Gotta wait for the dust to come out. That's what takes so long in these videos. on this guy is phenomenal. I'm going to pick him up and show you. This, okay, he's going to be really pinchy. His claws, he almost looks like a bluish coloration on the side of him. You can tell he was in a little bit of a war with his claws, but pretty sick, man. Pretty sick crawfish, if you ask me. And we got this little baby one in here, too. Right there. Nice little, little crustacean. How many videos we got? I can't even see the camera right now. 13 minutes, it's gonna cut off at 20 minutes, guys, so I'm very sorry, I apologize for that. catch look at that and that's sick hopefully I'm in the camera frame here I don't know if I am or not but double catch all right There's a lot of cool fish around here too oh we got some we got some fish guys Got a little bit of fish. Whoa! Got some more fish. Look at them flopping around. 
We're gonna release all these animals at the end, guys, I promise. Trust me. Oh. Oh. We got a, we got a, a fish that's on the loose here. We got a bag in the water, he's good. He's good. Oh my god, he's so tiny. Wow. Hopefully this camera did not cut off. We're on 16 minutes. Remember, 20 minutes of a cut off to start a new video, guys, so I apologize. Double catch. See, uh, I can point him down this way. They, whoa! I don't want to hurt him. There he is. He's gonna let go as soon as uh, I put him in the water. But that's one of them. The other ones are in the net. See, this guy is not letting go of this net. I'm gonna flip these guys inside out and in the net and put them in the bucket. There they go. In the net, we got some minnows. In the, net, in the next part, I'm going to show you guys how, okay, it's 18 minutes. I'm not going to do my outro. Remember, I'm going to do this as long as my camera can record, so I'm going to have plenty of footage. So don't forget to click on part two of this video. one on that whole soup. Just one little fish. He goes in there. Come on. There we go. Alright, see if all robots on part two. Thank you. 